Hey everybody, um, I wanted to do a quick uh, trade recap of my trades yesterday. Uh, right now it is Saturday morning. Um, I didn't have time yesterday afternoon to make a trade recap video. Um, I had some other things I had to do in the afternoon. Um, this is up on the screen right now is the trade performance uh, trade report from yesterday. Um, we got chopped around right on the open as usual. Um, really up until about 9.30, we were getting chopped around pretty good, um, which was kind of the theme of the week. Um, I changed my strategy a little bit um, for the for the for my last trade. I decided instead of do my usual breakout trade strategy, which has not been working all week, that I was gonna buy in at support level <clears throat> and get out at resistance levels, which is just classic trading. And um, it turned out to be a really nice winner for us. Um, we walked away on the day with $4,173. Um, so it was a good day overall. Um, I actually took the trade. I was adding to it at support levels. Uh, we originally got in at 955 and we were adding as we were pulling back at lower levels. Um, and then added to it as it broke um, higher um, <clears throat> and got out at resistance. The price did end up moving up a little bit higher, but I was uh, happy with that trade. I actually uh, took the trade um, and was adding to it, and then I had to, I had to leave. Um, I had some things I had to do. Um, so what I did was I set my stop loss, um, and you should see how close this came to my stop loss. I was out, um, I was checking my phone, I was checking the price, and I thought for sure that it hit my stop loss when I was out. And I was shocked when I got home and I found out that uh, the price had actually gone to my take profit. Um, one thing with NinjaTrader, which is, there's no mobile version of it, so if you're ever thinking about uh, buying a platform, uh, that's one of the drawbacks of NinjaTrader. Um, you can check the price, obviously, on any, app um, but if you actually want to check in on your trades or modify your trades you're not able to do that um, on a mobile device i knew i was going to be home before market closed so i would be able to close out in case i wasn't out because in these funded accounts you were not able to hold things overnight particularly over the weekend um, but anyway yeah you should see how close this thing came to taking my stop <clears throat> and then um, it came back up so it was a good it worked out for us in the end um, and that's nice to have that um, that profit there on the week however you know let's just face reality on the week uh, it was a it was a bad week um, we can look at our um, PL for the week and it's just a sea of red I mean a sea of red uh, coming in so um, on the week even though yesterday that was a good trade, should be happy with it. We were still, we are still down on the week. So we are still negative 793. Could be a lot worse. At one point we were down, you know, 6,500. Uh, that was on um, Thursday, we were down 6,500. <clears throat> so I traded back from that. Um, and while this is all sea red, we can see we've got some green in here mixed in. Um, that's a funny circle. I tried to do a circle on my mouse took over um, so anyways uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just play the video um, of the trade so whole trade recaps including my um, uh, stops or my my losses that I took early on and then also the winning trade I speed up a lot of it so you don't have to sit through um, price just moving around and um, yeah I appreciate everybody watching please like subscribe I, I really need some more subscribers in order to to keep making these things and make this um, um, worth it. <clears throat> but if you got anything out of it, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, trade recap. I'll see you on Monday. Good morning, everybody. It is June 11th. It's 8.29 a.m. The market's going to open in about 40 seconds. Um, looking at the NASDAQ, as usual, um, we're bullish again today. I'm bullish again today. If you look on the weekly chart down here, um, you know, this week is a bullish week. We've been going long. We've been bullish all week. We've just been getting stopped out bad. Um, our entries have been bad, um, and uh, it's been a tough week, even though our overall analysis of the market going up is correct. We had analysis that we we're going to come up and hit 14,000 this week, and we did. You see on the daily, um, you know, this is all really strong. Um, 
you know, this over here, the market just opened. I'm not taking anything right off the bat, even though I think that this might drop down a little bit. Over here is where we took our big, you know, $5,000 loss. Um, another big drop down yesterday, um, just not being able to get get in at the right time, even though we know where we have a, a good idea of where the market's going to end up going. So the market just opened. I'm looking at support levels down here at the bottom of the band at 50 on the hour. Um, this area down here where it's coming into right now is a big support area, I think. But we've been crashing through support areas for the last, you know, all week we've been going, moving through support areas. So I got to be cautious with it. I think there's another support area down here at 13,890, which is about 60 points away right now. Um, I am not able, I'm not going to be able to withstand a drawdown like that again today. So that that this level is the uh, top of the weekly volume profile. We're now moving down through this support. We've got a LVN beginning at 13,934. I'm looking just on the hourly chart here. So we've got this LVN right here. I don't have a pen up. Um, Bouncing off a little bit of this. I'm going to be cautious of it though. This might be a scalp to go up. Um, you can see the, the profile is now down here. Let's look at how our daily, these are all session volume profiles here. See each session the volume profile has been moving up. We've been moving up each session. This is all bullish behavior. You know, here's This is from Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We've got uh, Point of control is moving up each day. Here's point of control, point of control, point of control, point of control. I suspect point of control today will be somewhere up here at 13,990 probably, something like that. So we're just getting st uh, stomped out on entries all week. Uh, this thing is just whipsawing on us. And the funny thing is, the most profitable trades have been shorts. So... Um, you know, I could get in at 61 thinking we're going to come back up to VWAP, but um, we've not had good good luck. We're gonna we're gonna stick with it though. Trade today, see if we get anything good coming out of it. Um, I'm not gonna be buying this here. Yesterday I would have bought this right now, and it would just reverse on me. Also, not live streaming today. I did have I did have a good time uh, chatting with people in the live stream. Uh, that was the best part of it, but psychologically, it just felt like it really changed something. I don't know, so I gotta take a break from that. It'd be cool to just maybe have a chat or something uh, going, uh, but everybody trades differently. So, you know, people are, you know, one person is seeing something I'm not seeing it, and you know, then the idea gets in my head, and I'm I'm looking for it, and I, I forget what I'm trying to do. And you know their their method is probably just as profitable as mine. It's just everybody trades, um, or more profitable than mine. Actually, a lot of people in that chat were making, having way better days than I was having all week. Um, I just couldn't find my groove at all. Um, I'm looking here now. We got, we got some downtrend lines that, you know, again, this is what was happening yesterday. We got these downtrend lines breaking, and you think it's going to move to the upside, and then. We just, we just, it pops through and then comes right back down. Um, yeah, so it's interesting to see how other people trade. People trade a lot um, cleaner than I do. I mean, some people are really just trading support resistance levels and doing it probably how it should be done. And for whatever reason, I've just kind of adopted this method of delta and volume profile and Bollinger Bands and um, using multiple time frames and it's worked um, so far for me so I'm just going to keep with it my biggest thing is I can't I've got to um, take my stop losses and even yesterday when I was reviewing some of those trades I was in the afternoon when I finally made a made some good Good trades. Uh, my stop losses are so far away. I mean, if that price would have come down to my stop loss, it would have been massive loss. But it was just some, a risk I was willing to take. 
I think if we pop up of a view app, we may start trending up. But this, again, this is something that I was doing yes all week, and it just hasn't been working for me. Um, so, what are the other indices doing? Dow is is moving up nicely. Eh. Pretty nicely. No, not really actually. The five minute looks like it's breaking out to the upside. The Russell. So uh, the Russell looks uh, looks pretty good. Um, bullish, I mean. So I think if this level breaks, we would move back. We would start moving up into this area. But if I look at the volume profile, we're down here. Um, so this is really the range I've, I should be trading down here. You know, break a view app, is it going to start moving up? I don't know. I mean, this is what I was doing yesterday. And just getting stomped on it. Left and right. Looks like there's... If we look at when the market opened, we are making higher lows, higher highs. It's a little bit of an uptrend, and just on the market open. I mean, the market only opened here. This is all. This is all pre-market. There is some consumer sentiment that's coming out at nine o'clock, which may. It'll probably give the the market a little spike one way or the other, but I don't think it's going to be a big market mover. So that's in 23 minutes that comes out. And it's Friday in the summer. Um, this thing may just slow down to a trickle after, you know, 10.30. So I need to find, probably find, if I'm going to take a trade, I probably need to find it around here. Maybe the break of this high up to 74, I don't know.
sorry, my mic was on this whole th off that whole thing. Um, I just saw price got into that trade because we saw price um, coming up to VWAP resistance area value area high, um, and I think it's just gonna. I thought it was just gonna range. I, you know, I thought maybe it was gonna come down to value area low, but and I saw the selling pressure. You know, delta's in a bearish structure here. So, you know, lower lows, lower highs. It's chopping around a little bit. Um, it may come down to our take profit down there, but I just got out um, for a hundred bucks, easy hundred bucks. Um, I was saying that consumer sentiment's coming out. Um, Michigan consumer sentiment numbers coming out at nine. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's gonna really impact the market at all, but. Um, you will you may see like price spike around it so right when it comes out price may spike up or spike down and then it'll kind of go back to what it was doing so it's good just to be flat when that comes out um, so it was an easy hundred bucks to start the morning um, and yeah I'll probably just wait for that number to come out and then try to take a trade like at 905 see, see what the market wants to do so fast forward through that So I think on you know this big bearish move right here, uh, this consumer sentiment's coming out in three minutes. I think this this has a lot to do with it. So I'm not reading too much into anything right now. I'm just gonna let um, this price uh, move around, and then we may start trending. I'm hoping um, one way or the other um, after these this number gets released. But I, I've got down here on my hourly, this this LVN marked out. I think this is going to be some support down here at uh, 13,930. The 30 levels are, are support and resistance areas. I mean, there's lots on the on this, but the 30, for whatever reason, some of the round, you know, the quarter numbers and the half number and the whole number are, are obviously, the quarter is not really so much. The 30 is is more significant, I think, than quarter numbers. Uh, or the 25 number, but 30, 50, 75, um, and then obviously, um, and then at 90. So, you know, those are always kind of numbers to keep, keep in the back of your head. You can also see here now uh, the, volume, the, the, the point of control came in down here. I suspect this is going to want to move back up. However, this number is coming out in two minutes. Delta is dropping. We're in negative on delta, negative on the day, and we're below VWAP. So those are all bearish signs, um, and sometimes when you get so focused on just going along, you tend to ignore those those clear signs that the markets uh, that you know bears are in control of this thing. Um, but uh, in my mind, I'm still looking to take take along uh, for a for a trend up. You know, maybe let's look on the weekly. You know, it's at I mean it's near all time highs. I mean it's strong. I mean, 14,067 is all-time high. So, I'm going to take off some of these. I have too many trend lines on here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Anyways, um, yeah, this number is going to come out in 40 seconds. It'll be interesting to see if the price breaks a level, you know, breaks out of this kind of choppiness and starts trending one way or not, uh, one way or the other. Um, you can see on the 60 minute here, it's got 27 seconds till it comes out. Um, these, you know, it's got a level, you know, support level there. It's got resistance up here at 90. Um, clearly at uh, 14,000. Can we break 14,000 and start trending up? Uh, maybe, or do we just range in this all day and our point of control is somewhere around 13,990. All right, let's see if this number just came out. So now we're spiking up. The number was good, it was positive. 
see what the market, how the market reacts. Just because it's positive doesn't mean that the market's going to go up. But spiking back down. Let's look at the overnight volume profile. This is the overnight volume profile. You can see that we're in the overnight we've actually moved up. You know, the profile's moving up. This all looks bullish. But price action looks kind of bearish. You take a short uh, here at 67. If you're bearish on it, you take a short at like 67, 64, 65. Breaks VWAP, move back, moves back down here. And maybe we just chop around VWAP all day, I don't know. So we got into this one. Um, look at all the other indices. They're all dropping. This one looks bearish. I think you may want to come back down and, and get into value area low. There's support level down here. I think it's going to get pulled down into this space. Um, I don't know. It may pop back up, though. I feel like it's a one-for-one -one trade. I may add to it if it comes back up to VWAP. It doesn't seem like anything's got a ton of momentum at the moment. You can see all the other indices are, are making lows here. NASDAQ's fighting it though. My original plan was to take long as we came into this area. So maybe I should have stuck with that, huh? Yep, should have stuck with that. It's probably going to tag me out right here. I don't know. Dang it. Now it looks.
looks cool. This is how you get whips out of them. this thing move around for a little bit more. So we took a bad scalp up here. Um, we thought I thought price was gonna pop, and then we over this level, and then we push up into 90. But obviously, the exact opposite happened. We just crashed through, um, which is kind of the story of the week. Just the way that I'm trading doesn't really work right now. Um, so we're waiting to see what price wants to do down here. It's a big support area. Um, wants to keep moving down or if we're, it's going to find some support down here and come back up it kind of seems like it's ranging it seems to be the theme we're ranging down here it's just on the open yeah so it's got lows at 940 on the day um, I'm not convinced really either way this thing wants to move So, it's 9.45. I think the only way that you could really trade this is if it comes back up to this trend line or some resistance area and you got a bearish candle on a one minute or a five minute and take it back down. It's moving through a lot of support here. 40, then it's got some more support down here at 35. You know, break of 40 down to 35. I don't know. My break trading strategy doesn't isn't really working in this environment. If you're good at trading support and resistance and getting in at good prices, this is probably for you. For me, it is not very good. I like something that's trending. See, I would normally take a short right here as this level breaks, but the price has just been reversing on me right away. Coming right down to a LVN on the weekly profile. Let's see if I can get this chart. Oh man. See, you would put a short right here at 40, thinking it's going to go down to 30. This looks like a bullet. These two candles here on the one minute look. These pin bars there. I don't know. I don't trust any of this. Okay, I had, I had to change some of my um, ATM strategy stuff there. I think I'm going to see if I can get a rotation up. I think we break 54. Wow, this looks bearish here on one minute.
So what we're thinking is that we're gonna break this trend line. We're coming off of this LVN on the hourly and that we should start rotating up. I mean, this is probably a 20 point <clears throat> stop loss, which is not great, but um, we're trying to get in on this thing. I should just buy it here, you know? I, should, I really need to get better at that, buying it at better levels and you know, getting out at better levels. Uh, we're gonna get that lucky all the way back up to 88, maybe. Let's see. <clears throat> Do we pull back, I might buy into it some more. Actually, I'm gonna buy in at 50. Do -do -do. If we get a pull back, I might buy in again. It's got a bunch of resistance up at the BWAP. If it broke VWAP, I would take it up. I'm actually going <clears> to <throat> not add on price breaks. I'm going to try to add on pullbacks here. What are the other indices doing? I just came right down. This thing has no interest, I think, in going back up. Let's see. Add at 51, maybe. Oop, now we're along two. So I'm adding to it down here. I, I feel like this is going to go up and we're going to retest that 14,000 or at least 13,990 um, is my thought. Um, <clears throat> we'll see. There might be, it might have a little bit more room to come down. But I'm trying to read the price, what the price is going to do. may want to drop down again, I don't know. I thought this was going to go here on this one minute. I thought we were going to start moving up. Probably, I'm already in the long four contracts. I'm probably going to take off that contract right there. Or not take it off, but cancel that order. I may be sitting in this for a while before it starts to move up. Let's see. I think a lot of people just got trapped down here thinking that that was going to be another leg down, but I think this LVN here is going to hold. It's got support at 930. Um, if we break that 50 level again, this is an important level right here for it. If it breaks this 50 level again, um, I think we're definitely going to move up to 62. We're getting through that downtrend line here. In the one minute, Let's see if it can close above it. Uh, I can't grab it. There.
See delta moving up here. I think this is probably in the next rotation back up. Where would your exit price be? I've got my exit way up here at 88, possibly. Can it get up there? I don't know, maybe. Now we're along six. I've got two more contracts I could take. This should at least want to come up to 62. 